Father, fear of the Lord. Let that be the overriding rule of all the other things. But it says, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let wives be to their own husbands in everything. Now that's a heavy, heavy burden. Huh? Wow. But remember, that's only half of the story. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ only. <coughs> so husbands ought to love their wives as their own, love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. And as Christ and the church are joined together in one, Husband and wife are joined together as one unit. Now I said that submitting as to the Lord was a tough thing. Loving her as Christ loved the church is tougher. It's a sacrificing love. It's a love that is committed to her best interest. It's a love that is committed to making her the very best that she can be. As Christ loved the church and gave himself to it. That he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle. It's a purifying love. And I propose to you that any woman who has a husband who will love her in that way, they, Lynn, Allen, to be your wedded wife, to cherish her and live with her according to God's holy ordinance. Will you pledge your loyalty to her and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and keep yourself to her only as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. Amen. Maria, will you take Jeremiah to be your wedded husband, to cherish him and live with him according to God's holy ordinance? Will you pledge your loyalty to him and promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep him and in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and keep yourself to him only as long as you both shall live? That includes submit to him. If so, answer, I will. The candle ceremony represents two families uniting, two people becoming one. Jeremiah, take thee, Maria. I, Jeremiah, take thee, Maria. Mm -hmm. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this time forward. From this time forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In health and in sickness. In health and in sickness. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And this I do and to this pledge I, thee. And this I do to pledge thee. My faith. My faith. Oof. 
Maria. I'm Maria. Take thee, Jeremiah. Take thee, Jeremiah. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold, have and to hold from, this time forth, from this time forth, for better for worse, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer for poorer, in health and in sickness, in health and in sickness, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy ordinance, and to, God's holy ordinance, and to this. I do pledge thee my faith. What tokens do you have? Rings. Let these rings, given and received, be a reminder especially to you that you are no longer your own. You belong one to the other. Let them also be an announcement to everyone who sees them that you belong to someone else and an announcement that you are committed to keeping. Would you place the ring on her finger? Repeat after me with this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. Let's pray. Father, I pray your blessing upon this couple. May they have years and years. There's a responsibility there. We have a responsibility to help them make it work. There will be tough times. There will be ups and downs. Make sure that you support them in any way that you can. It may be tough. Showing them tough love. It may be just putting your arm around them and saying, yeah, I know. The other person's a jerk. <laughs> but you'll get through it. We have that commitment, that responsibility, because we love them. By the authority committed unto me as a minister of the gospel, I declare that Jeremiah and Maria are now husband and wife according to the ordinance of God and the laws of the state. Whom therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Jeremiah, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Join hands, turn around and face the crowd. It is my privilege and pleasure to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Jeremiah Knight.